Hey guys, so quickly before starting the video, I'd like to say I know I haven't made any cooler projects like this in a while, and the reason being is because of the YouTube algorithm, where if I make something like this, they usually uh, do not like the video and either remove it or remove the ads from it. So I know it's been a while, but I'm going to try and get back into it again, and hopefully the algorithm doesn't mess me up, as I'm not making anything really dangerous, just uh, the keywords, you can see how YouTube believes it is dangerous. So I really hope you like the video. If you do like this type of video, make sure to let me know by giving me a thumbs up and subscribing down below. So without further ado, let's get to the video. So in today's video, we are going to be making a seven barrel BB pistol. Um, airsoft, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, here's what we're going to be needing for the project. Um, I have some scissors, electrical tape, some type of aerosol spray, seven uh, cheap ballpoint pens, a small star screwdriver, my airsoft BBs as ammo, and then this thing which is actually part of an old project. So this was a part of an old spud gun project. So I decided to reuse it instead of making another one since I don't have much plumbing parts with me right now. But essentially what it is, is a handle made out of an old pill bottle. And then just a single pipe with like a little uh, access port on the back. So essentially all this does is uh, I mounted a piezo sparker on the front. These are the sparkers you find in lighters. If you want to see how to extract one of these from a lighter, go check out my video on how to make a mini taser. Anyway, and then basically what I've done is wired it up inside of the tube so the terminals are almost touching. So when you hit the sparker, it makes a good spark pretty much every single time. So that's essentially the body of the gun we're going to be using today. Um, I'm sure lots of you guys have seen tons of videos. I've made tons of videos on how to make stuff like this. So the, that's not the point of today's video. So I'm just going to be simply reusing this guy here. Now, to make the barrels, first you have to decide how many barrels you want. And to do that, you got to take the lids off the pens so the pens are perfectly straight. Just like that. And then by putting them all together, I determined that seven barrels was perfect for the size of my pistol. As you can see, it fits in there with a little bit of wiggle space, but that's okay because we'll fix that later. So to turn our pens into barrels, I'll show you one. It has to be repeated seven times. But basically, using our pair of scissors, um, just grip the tip of it and cut right where the seam is, and it usually comes out pretty easily. You can then carefully remove the ink so you don't get it all over yourself. So as you can see there we have the perfect size tube for a 6mm airsoft BB and we are going to be keeping the cap on the back on and then simply using our small Phillips head screwdriver you can see here, there you go, uh, right in the very middle, be very careful not to stab yourself, just give her a twist while pushing relatively hard and you can see it goes right in there. Take it out, and now you have a small hole in the center of your pen and a full-size barrel on the other side. Just go ahead and repeat that seven times. So there's all seven tubes produced. They all have little holes in the end and are wide open on the other end. I'm going to be keeping the pen because they're actually still good pens and uh, just going to have to throw out the caps. So then you just want to arrange all your pens in a nice circular formation and depending on the type of gun you have, decide how far you want them to go into the barrel. Now I want them to go in as you can see maybe about a half inch like that. And So before gluing them in place I'm just going to use a little strip of electrical tape going around this way to keep them all in the same formation. So there's the barrel formation, almost ready to be inserted into the barrel of the gun. Uh, but essentially, uh, I'm going to be sealing the outside with hot glue. I forgot to mention you will need a hot glue gun, mine's been heating up over here. Uh, but also, you can see there's like this little star pattern of one, two, three, four, five. 
little air pockets that I can stick my screwdriver into that we do not want the explosion pressure escaping from. So I'm just going to use my hot glue gun here, place it in between the gap, being careful not to get any hot glue in the actual holes. Then as you can see, I just filled one up with hot glue. I'm going to go ahead and do that to the rest. So there it is. I know it's not 100% perfect, but it's not blocking any of the holes and it won't be visible. So aesthetics is not really important here. So the next step is to get it to go into the barrel. I'm going to be putting it in about there. So to hot glue it first, I'm just going to lay down some hot glue in between every single one of these pens here. This is to also make sure that the crack formed by this ridge is sealed. So there they all are. Now just before this dries, I'm going to add another layer around the outside. Lots of hot glue going on here. Now I think it's time to go into our gun. Now only push in or else we'll have a bit of an issue with plugging it up I think. So I would say that's pretty good right about there. I'm just going to go ahead and touch up the hot glue and then uh, it'll be pretty much done. There you can see my barrels are now 100% secured in and if you look from the top you can see inside the barrel and all seven of them. So now to finish it off really just aesthetically I'm going to wrap from here to here in electrical tape. Alright ladies and gentlemen there it is all taped up and ready to go. So without further ado let's get to the testing. Hey guys, so it turned out that I had to make a modification to the back end of the gun for the fuel loading. So essentially before there was just a brass cap on the little uh, union right here. So to load it before you just put a little bit of fuel in the back of it, screwed on the cap and went on your merry way. But the problem I found was that the combustion chamber is so small, it's about here to here, that the volume of fuel you needed was so little it was almost impossible to... Uh, vaporize some fuel such as this axe um, and still have enough air in there to provide combustion whereas the syringe you pull it all the way back all the way out spray your fuel in the end just like that replace the cap and then in this process you're essentially shoving uh, two ounces all the way down to half an ounce so you know around one and a half ounces of air then when you pull the trigger there goes the fire. That was even fuel left over from last time. So anyway, let's get to the shooting test now with the updated design. Alright, here we go with the shooting test. I've got my BBs loaded in the end. Now we're just going to head to add some fuel to the back. And put the syringe in, compressing all the fluid with air to mix it up. Now we're going to go ahead and fire at my stove in 3, 2, 1. Not, not too much power, let's try again for some more power. Here we go with the second test shot. Wow, that one was quite a bit more powerful. Uh, this shot back, I tried my best to hold it. Um, but shooting back a little bit, obviously we lost some energy. But one of the BBs uh, hit the stove and came back to about there, you can see it. And the other BB is right about there. And the rest of them, I can't really see. They might have got all caught up over there. We're going to go ahead and do one more shooting test, but that's about it. Here we go with the third shooting test at the stove again. In three, two, one. It's kind of hard to see on camera. Some of them go and hit the fridge, and some fall short. Probably because there's so many barrels that the pressure dissipates a lot. Uh, basically, there it is. Um... I think it's pretty fun to shoot, takes a little bit to get the pressure right, but if you do, you can actually do it a few times even on one squirt of fuel, it's hard to show you right on camera, but there it is, hope you guys enjoyed the project, and uh, if you did enjoy the project, please be sure to give the video a like, and comment down below, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe, thanks for watching.